Hi everyone, I am Shumallu Mukhopadhyay. Uh, at present, I am doing my PhD from the Indian Institute of Technology in Delhi. I feel extremely honored and privileged to have been given this opportunity by the Indian Museum to talk on a topic that they have selected to mark the International Youth Day 2020. They have thematized the topic as youthful engagement for global action. I think there is a certain urgency in this topic. It is extremely relevant and it is extremely intriguing as well. Personally, I feel the topic is relevant because it focuses on two words. One, youth. Second, action. The history of human civilization bears testimony to the fact that the contours of any society rest on the affirmative action taken by the youths of today. Our actions, especially actions by the youth, determine how the society will shape itself in years to come. As we all know that we are living in an extremely uh, precarious, extremely problematic time that human interaction, that human communication has been restricted. How will our action, we who so-called, who, who embody the youthful exuberance of the present age, how will our action determine the future course of the society? To talk on this, I will cite a personal experience of mine when I was involved in a project uh, with the Partition Museum, New Delhi. As we all know, that the Partition is a very, very disturbing uh, collective past of ours. And there has been a, a willing distancing uh, from the event, all the more so because the Partition run parallel, runs parallel to the independence of India. I personally was uh, involved with the Partition Museum because I thought I could add value to the museum of theirs. I went to the archives, went through documents related to the Bengal partition. I also had the opportunity to interview a few individuals who had witnessed the partition. And as I grew, as, as I got more involved with the project, I realized that this very act of archiving, this very act of recording interviews, the very act of preserving these uh, memories, these, these documents in the museum has a political potential, something that will shape how the future generation thinks of partition. As you all know, as, as Foucault has himself uh, said, that the museum is a heterotopia, meaning that it is a space that is beyond control of power. A museum does not have any a particular ideology. It does not focus on one particular time period. It does not focus on one particular aspect. Instead, it covers multifarious aspects. It refers to different time periods. It refers to an event from different. Uh, it refers to an event from different viewpoints, and that is what enriches the the, the collective importance of the museum to record stories, to preserve these documents and, and to make them available to a wider audience through museum is, is a very important thing, it's, it's, a very, it's, it's a very urgent thing and I personally felt that as a youth, as someone who is doing his PhD, uh, is greatly benefiting not only myself but also doing a service to our, to our country, to those generations who have witnessed the partition to those generations who have heard stories of the partition and also to those people who, didn't, who do not think the partition to be a great event when it comes to realizing our past. To, to, to talk on a particular topic like this, to choose a particular topic like this, I, I should congratulate Indian Museum because it is, in, it is through topics like this that we get to talk about how our actions, how actions of the youth, how the youthful exuberance gets reflected in what we in what they do 
in, in how they want to uh, preserve certain aspects of their past in the present and, and take it forward to shape a better society for the future. And global action, it is another intriguing thing. The action it is talking about is global. As, as we all know, a museum is not a localized thing. A museum is something, a space that attracts people from various sections of the society, from various other countries. Look at Indian Museum in Kolkata, for example. Every time I have visited the Indian Museum, I have seen foreigners, I have seen people from the other nationalities other than India who have come to see the museum. And they look at the museum and they take back something that is very intrinsic to our civilization, that is very intrinsic to West Bengal, that is very intrinsic to the culture that we try, try to thrive on. It is this aspect that youths need to develop. And it is also important for uh, the older generation to involve the youth, to, to trust in them, to harness the positive potential in a youth so that they can uh, extract their energy and infuse them with the right kind of direction as they move towards planning and implementing various ways in which the society will shape itself. By choosing a particular topic, Indian Museum Kolkata showcases how important it is to include youths in every program, how important it is for youths to think through various uh, events, various historical trajectories and determine how they want the society to be when they promote themselves to be the older generation. I would like to thank and congratulate Indian Museum again. I think they, they will do a wonderful job and I would like to wish everyone success who is involved with this project and I myself am deeply indebted uh, for this opportunity and I hope I will be part of such opportunities in days to come. Thank you. Thank you everyone and best of luck to Indian Museum and those who are associated with this project.